Canon doesn't believe that the market for entry-level mirrorless cameras is declining. So what does that mean for the Canon EOS RP replacement? Is it still on? Could we see a replacement for the Canon EOS RP for somewhere around $999 or $899, an entry-level full-frame mirrorless camera? Well, stick around after this short break for all the details. But first, please do me a favor. Follow me on Twitter, but most importantly, please subscribe to this channel. It doesn't cost you anything and really does help this channel grow. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks so much for your support. When Canon said they're not continuing the KISS line, it wasn't really true. The Canon EOS R50 is a continuation, a spiritual continuation of the R system, and the R100 hits just below that. It wasn't so much that Canon abandoned the KISS line, it's that they abandoned the whole moniker when they decided to refresh and bring it over to the R system. Well, the problem with KISS is in Japan it was called KISS, in other markets it was called KISS, but it was also called the D2000 or D200 or the Rebel, and you see it got a little bit confusing. And with the release of the Canon EOS R100, myself and many others thought, well, is there really a need for this camera? It doesn't really make any sense, especially when if you just spend $200 more, you've got the R50, which is a much more capable camera. With smartphones, well, producing really good quality capabilities in terms of video and stills, it kind of begs the question, right? Well, when Ken was asked a few questions, and courtesy of the Business Journal, this question about smartphones? While smartphone cameras are becoming more sophisticated, what kind of strategy would you take for consumer products? And Canon answered, although the performance of smartphone cameras has improved, the amount of information and image quality of camera images created by optical technology and large sensors is overwhelmingly superior, and Canon will continue to meet the needs of shooting cleaner and shiner images. And you'll have to forgive the machine translation because, well, we're going from Japanese to English and obviously Canon wouldn't use the term shinier. What we're talking about is being able to produce, well, more detailed, better resolution images, sharper images with better color rendition. And of course, that, well, it can't, you can't do all that without a proper and a really good modern autofocus system. But I think what's going on here and what this is really getting at is getting people to move off of, well, DSLRs on, on, and onto mirrorless. And we saw this with the Canon EOS R5. Up until that point, many people were looking at Canon's mirrorless line and thinking, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to stick with DSLR, thanks. I mean, the EOS R and the RP, they were barely keeping up with what Sony was... No, they weren't even keeping up with what Sony was putting out there, were they? It wasn't very good. However, when the R5 came out, a whole bunch of people moved over. The R5, the R6, now we've seen the R3, the R7, the R10, and the R50. Canon's lineup is looking pretty good, albeit um, that R100 that I don't think is, I think it could have, I do think they could have done better. I, I, I stand by what I said before that it's more or less an R50 with um, the Mark I uh, without a flippy screen. But, um, and of course the R100 is supposed to come out soon within the next eight months and that's going to be sitting on top of the line and I think we're going to get a good idea of Canon's lineup, albeit we're missing some lenses. And please do forgive the quality of this image that I'm shooting. I'm still shooting with a Canon EOS R5. I'm on location. It's early in the morning, and I wanted to get this out for you. And uh, uh, the problem with shooting outside, we've got overcast skies, but the clouds, the clouds, the clouds, um, sometimes they're dark, sometimes they're not. And it's a, it's, I, I might be a little bit overexposed at some time, so I do apologize for that. But back to our story. What this begs the question is, if we're getting all these cameras coming out in the use our system and Canon doesn't believe that the entry level is done for, well, then we've got a big hole in the full frame side of things. We've got the Canon EOS R8, a terrific camera, and it's around $1,500, but we're still missing that successor, the Canon EOS RP, it really it hit a really good price point, $999, $899 on sale, a terrific camera, a really, really solid camera, but um, it, it hasn't been updated, and with the release of the R8, many people are thinking, well, will there be an R9? Will there be a camera that comes in right around the $899 or $999 point? And based on what I'm hearing from this Business Journal interview with Canon, I'm thinking that it's a very good possibility, and that would be good news because I think while the R8 is a terrific camera, for a lot of people, that's still an awful lot of money, and maybe not for you living in the United States, but 70% of my audience lives outside of the United States. So when you take into account exchange rates and tariffs, like for example, in England, if a camera costs $1,500, it costs 1,500 pounds. And while that might sound like, okay, it's the same price point, right? 
well, not exactly, because the cost of living is so much higher. So you'd expect with a higher pound that it would cost less, and it doesn't. So having a camera that came in, a full-frame mirrorless camera that came in around that $999 price point, being updated slightly better than the Canon EOS RP, I think would be a terrific hit. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And thank you for joining me this morning. It is pretty early here. What time is it here? It's it's about 5 o'clock. Um, I'm just... <laughs> Uh, I've been up for a while, and uh, actually I want to talk to you about, um, take a look at Canon Rumors. They put out a story about smartphone cameras and Canon's strategy with that. I decided not to cover it because I think Craig Blair at Canon Rumors did a great job of providing his analysis, and I really didn't have any value to add there, so take a look at his story. I think it's really well done, but um, it's going to be an interesting week here, and I'm going to do my best to cover you because I'm doing, I've, I've got a really busy itinerary. I've got a lot of things to shoot. And, um, but as you can see here, even though I'm outside at the risk of rain, uh, and I'm probably, I can tell, oh, are we at risk of overexposure here? I'm seeing some sort of red light. No, that's the record light. See, without my glasses on, can't see. So that is the record light. Yeah, <laughs> it's the record light. So you see the REC at the top, and there's this other little red dot, and uh, I'm not used to looking at the LCD. I'm used to shooting in my studio, so this is a little bit different. I wish I had a tripod. I got a stack of books, books on, some, some, on some garden furniture to be able to bring this to you. But um, yeah, we should have an exciting week coming up. We're still expecting to have a Canon EOS R5 firmware update, but that's going to come out when it comes out. Apparently, when my source told me we were talking a couple of weeks ago, we talked about many different things, and I was still on the firmware update. The source went off into something else, and I said, so it's coming out next week. And they said, yes, but they were referring to something else. So I do apologize. Um, we got that wrong last week, but um, it happens sometimes. But if you do want to stay up to date on all the latest camera news and rumors, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But don't forget to choose all notifications. And if you want to stay up to date on all those minor news and rumors, all those things that aren't quite big enough to have their own separate video, or if you'd like to stay up to date on the latest prices, deals of the days, whenever I notice great deals like recently $1,599 for the Canon EOS R6, you did have to put in a coupon code. That was at Adorama. B&H had a very similar deal. Uh, Adorama was giving away more kit like an EF to RF adapter and a free battery grip if you bought the Canon EOS R5. So I've got those links down below, but some really great deals are still on, not just from Canon, but Panasonic, Sony, and even Nikon, the Z6 and Z7 Mark IIs. But that's it for now. Have yourself a great day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Or we'll see you again soon. Thanks for... <laughs> I can't even... Okay, I'm just going to close it up. I don't... I'm just tripping over my own words. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.